Here's some tips for taking screenshots on your Mac and a couple apps that can take it even further. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. You have me, Andrew O'Hara here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, take just a moment, go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Here, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about taking screenshots on the Mac, including how to use the default tool, a bunch of keyboard shortcuts, and how to edit those images. But I'm gonna go further and give you a couple apps that are incredible at elevating your screenshot game, allowing you to do so much more than Apple's default tool can offer. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I am at my Mac. Apple's default tool for capturing screenshots is called Screenshot and you can capture both still images and videos of what's on your screen. To get to the screenshot tool, you can go into your application folder, go into other or utilities and click on screenshot. There's a faster way as well just by using spotlight. So hit command and spacebar and then type in screenshot. It should appear right away and you can go ahead and take a screenshot of your screen. Beyond that, there's even more that you can do. So if we open up the screenshot tool, a bar will appear at the bottom of the screen. You can see your different options you have available. So you can capture the entire screen, everything on your screen, a specific window, which will capture it as a transparent PNG. So you have your window as well as a clear background and it has like a transparency to it. So there's nothing going on behind it except for a little bit of drop shadow. Then you have the selected area. This gives you a marquee tool, so you can select just a small bit or a large area, whatever you want on your screen. Then there's video, which is similar. You can record either the entire screen or just a selected portion. Beyond that, you have the options menu, which gives you several different choices, including where it should automatically save your screenshots to, your downloads folder, uh, messages, the desktop, anything like that. You can choose a timer, so if you want to get the mouse ready or open a window before a screenshot goes off, you can do that. Then you can turn on the microphone or not, so if you're doing a video, you can do a voiceover at the same time. And then finally, a few additional options down there at the bottom, such as showing mouse clicks. Opening the tool is great, but there's another option that's even quicker and doesn't involve you having to open the screenshot utility at all. You can just use system-wide keyboard shortcuts. Hit these anywhere and you'll perform that action. For example, if you hit Command Shift 3, it'll capture a screenshot of your entire screen. If you hit Command Shift 4, that will select a area. So you'll get the marquee tool and you just drag and select and as soon as you let go, it'll go ahead and screenshot that area. Finally, if you do Command Shift 4 and then hit Space Bar, you'll get the option to capture a window. It'll turn into a little camera icon and you can just choose the window that you want and it'll screenshot that selected window. Whenever you do capture a screenshot, it'll appear in the lower right hand corner of your display for just a moment before disappearing and going to your save location. Before it disappears, you can click on that screenshot and you have an additional set of options that you can perform. So here, I just took a screenshot and you can see all of my different choices. So I immediately, in that top right hand corner, I can delete or share that screenshot very quickly. So that's a really handy way just to take a screenshot and message it to someone without even having to let it hit your desktop or your downloads folder. Alternatively, you can annotate this. So if you wanna draw on it, add shapes, you can sign it if it's some sort of document that you screenshotted, you could underline things, add text, rotate it around. There's a bunch of different options for annotations. So feel free to annotate the image and then you can go ahead and hit the X in that top left hand corner and it'll save to your predetermined location. Apple's default tool is pretty great. There's a lot you can do with it, but it is far and away not the best solution for taking screenshots on your Mac. There's a couple really useful tools that I would highly recommend if you're gonna take a lot of screenshots. One of those options is Capto, which is designed really for taking a lot of videos. So if you're doing a lot of videos on your computer and you wanna record them, Capto is a super solid option. But for screenshots, I would take a look at CleanShot X or CleanShot 10. 
I'm not sure which way they want to pronounce it, but CleanShot and CleanShot X is simply the best screenshot taking tool that I've ever played with. There is so much you can do, and I don't want to go through all of it in this video, but a couple of the highlights. There's far more annotation tools than Apple's built-in options. For one example, you can obscure parts of the photo so you can blur sensitive information before sharing that screenshot. It's super useful and I do it all the time when I'm walking you through different tutorials on appleinsider.com. Another option is CleanShot Cloud. It can automatically upload your images to the cloud and share them that way instead of having to send an actual image across in an email or a text message that may take longer to get delivered. So it's really handy to have things go up to the cloud and sync across your devices. If you're dealing with something that is too big to fit on your screen, you can use their scrolling capture feature. This is perfect if you're taking shots of something like a messages thread or even lines of code. You can just scroll through the page and CleanShot will capture all of it and stitch it together into one single image. Super helpful. When you're taking screenshots, you can automatically apply a preferred background image. You can automatically hide all of your messy desktop icons so they don't distract from your content. And you can pin your screenshots in the corner of the screen so when you need them, you can come back to them just for a temporary period of time. It's pretty useful when you're working with a lot of screenshots that you actually need to do something with in that moment. And yes, there's a bunch of stuff for video, including showing your webcam in the recordings, recording both microphone and macOS audio, highlighting mouse clicks and keystrokes, and automatically hiding notifications. And it has a built-in trimming tool, so you can trim it down to the perfect size before you save or share. So I hope that helps. There's a few different options for recording video, capturing screenshots, and getting the most out of Apple's own tool. Or if you want to go even further, you can check out apps like CleanShot, CleanShot X. Let me know what you guys think and what your preferred clean shot or screenshot method is down below in the description or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned to Apple Insider. I've got a whole bunch more videos and tips coming your way.